Notebook LM is the most underrated AI tool. Its simplicity combined with its power makes it unrivaled, especially because it's free to use. Now you might know about Notebook LM, you might even know about all its features, but you might be struggling to think of what you should actually be using it for. Well, we're gonna go through that today, not just a list of its features, but some pretty awesome innovative new use cases. And we're gonna kick things off straight away. This is gonna help you make more money online, basically. And it's our meta ads analysis. I've actually started building this book out already and I'll show you how it works. Basically, this is gonna give you the ticket to creating high-performing Facebook ads. Now, the cool thing about Facebook ads is you can use what's called the Meta Ad Library, and you can see everyone's ads that are actually already running, which is pretty epic. But also, we can see which ones are doing well in a really simple way. We can go to um, Meta Ads Library, we can click Active Ads, and we can filter by impressions on a date to see the most successful ads. Now, you don't want to pull information from ads that are have only just been published today for example you want to go back a couple months see what's performing and is still running that started running a while back and has been running for a few months because if people are leaving ads running it means they're working now you want to go through for in this example we're using personal training as our niche and we're going through and finding all the ads that are running that are doing well for personal training this is a brand new channel and if you get anything from this video at all do me a digital handshake hit the subscribe button and comment with where you are on your journey below then i'm going through and i'm pulling all the copy from the ads and putting it in to notebook lm so we can get a list a massive list of sources that are all the top performing ads in personal training now we can start asking Notebook LM for some tips on this. So for example, if we zoom in a bit here, we could ask it, what are the shared characteristics of a great Facebook ad? We can go and get and start questioning Notebook LM to analyze these sources and give us some feedback on what all these ads have in common. Why do they all work so well? And here you go, it's starting to bring back, analyze all of those and bring us back some information on the information providing the sources, compelling hook and headline. It's actually pulled out some examples and some sources to say like, these are the ads with compelling hooks and headlines, clearly defined target audience. They're precise about who they're speaking to. They're explicitly targeting and saying who they're targeting and they're identifying a problem and offering a solution. So straight away, we've got the out, the sort of the framework of a great Facebook ad. Next, we can go a bit deeper into some of these features. Let's say you are interested in investing in certain companies, stock shares, or you want a pulse on the stock market. You can go and add loads of sources, loads about all the companies you might be watching that you have invested in, are interested in, you want to start to understand the markets more, and add all their earnings reports, any other financial information from the company, news reports, all into your sources. And then you can actually go into this studio on the right-hand side here and start creating different assets. Create a complete video and podcast to actually break this stuff down for you. So for people that don't want to sit and read and read all these earnings reports, you could create your own either summary videos here, a video overview of things, or you could create quick summary reports of everything. You could obviously question this. You could even just create a podcast here to listen to on the go. That's two people that are going to be having a conversation back and forth about what you're talking about, what you want to learn about these companies. I really love this because I can never be bothered to actually read through earnings reports. But if I can listen to almost a curated podcast of it to get an understanding, then that is awesome. Okay, let's get somewhat more tactical. And I've created this GEO improvements notebook. And if you don't know what GEO is, it's all about ranking and getting your business and your content to show up on, say, AI overviews on Google. So for this search, say surfing in Cornwall, getting your business cited on these panels and in this overview or in tools like ChatGPT, Perplexity, those sorts of places. Now, this is a new area of marketing and SEO, basically, and it's a bit of a mystery to a lot of people. But you can actually use Notebook LM to start understanding how you can improve the ability of your website to show up in these areas. So what I've done is I've curated, say, the top cited businesses on Google AI overviews and Google search, and I've pulled them into Notebook LM. Because now what we can do, we can start creating a set of distinct prompts that people might put into ChatGPT or Google that would trigger AI. And we first want to see what comes back. Obviously, we can do the that sort of analysis in 
Google or chat GPT to see what these AI tools might quote back to us. So we could say something like, where is the best place to learn to surf in Cornwall? And we could start curating these prompts and seeing how Notebook LM reacts. Now, this isn't the real trick. The real trick is then going and creating your content or building your website in the best way to try and get Notebook LM to quote it. So you don't have to wait for a feedback loop from Google or ChatGPT for things to rank and be found. We can actually start testing this out in Notebook LM. It's given us the output, but where it's pulling from. Now, let's say I have a piece of content that I wanted to add that I've written that I want to see. Can I get this quoted by AI tools. This is a quick way to get some feedback loop that I could put it in there. Say, I've published this piece of content. I want to rank it on Google, but I also want it quoted by AI tools. Now I've added that information and we could test the same prompts or different prompts again to see if we're getting any different feedback. So this second query is run now and we can start to see where it's pulling these citations from. You can actually click on these citations as well to see where in the content from different pages that it's being pulled from, the different uh, pieces of information. Now you can see that the source I added isn't being cited very much, certainly early on in where, we, where we'd want this query. We now need to go and look at what others are writing and trying to match and improve the layout and the content in our page to actually get quoted by Notebook LM. So this is like a short sandbox we can start using to improve our GEO, AI, SEO, whatever you wanna call them, rankings. The next use I have is actually pretty fun. I actually built my own personal AI Alex Hormozy advisor to help me with business context or answer questions based on what advice he gives. Basically, I've pulled in a load of his best YouTube videos or my favorite YouTube videos that he talks about to actually build this knowledge base from his content. Now I can start asking questions about how he would go about solving my business problems. So how can I start generating more leads for my SEO consultancy business? Now we're not just going to get generic advice from AI, we're actually going to get direct advice from Alex or Mosey's content and his knowledge base, basically, based on the sources we've given it. And we've got a step-by-step -step breakdown, leverage and maximize existing channels. You can say, oh, he mentions the Bantz framework in there. We could go and question that further. Like, oh, I didn't understand that bit of what it was talking about. We can also do something pretty clever with business plans in Notebook LM. So for this one, I've uploaded a very famous ebook called The E-Myth Revisited. It's one of my favorites. It has some such good business advice in there that it can really help you in the way you literally run your business and how you create an efficient, well-run business. For this, we're actually going to use it in a really practical way. We're not just going to question it. We're actually going to feed it. I've actually got a business plan that we can then feed into this. So we can add that into our sources as well. And now with those two sources, I can say, based on the E-Myth Revisited, how can I improve my yoga center business plan? And now we're able to use two sources. We're not just going to question this PDF of the book, we're actually going to give it something from ours and be able to work the two together to get some actionable feedback. Based on this, here's five ways you can improve plan. So define your primary aim, envision the business as a replicable product. Instead of just planning for current operations and growth, adopt the entrepreneurial mindset, imagining your yoga center as a franchise prototype. So even though this is just one center, we can actually build it in a way that builds systems and processes that makes this center run better and gives us the ability to scale in the future. So, you know, this is really cool that we can actually start thinking about and, and sharpen the way of what we're thinking about, about how we're building our business plans. One of the things I really struggle with is remembering everything I see and trying to keep a handle of all the information there is online and get to it when I need it. Particularly now I'm writing a regular newsletter I sit down and I'm meant to be curating all the best stuff I've used and seen and tools and everything from this week. And I can never remember the right things that I need. I see I read a lot of other people's newsletters. I watch a lot of YouTube videos, social media, saving posts on LinkedIn. And I think I got to remember that, but I can never remember to find it. Well, I can now put all of this stuff in that maybe I've seen in the last week, go through everything, put it into Notebook LM and then start using it to actually help me curate my own content or what I want to talk about. So we're going to give Notebook LM a little bit of extra context. I write a weekly newsletter called Shiny Objects for Marketers. 
entrepreneurs, creators who want to leverage AI, marketing, online business, um, and then what each edition blends of like a topical story or hook, some interesting tools, weekly prompts, a prompt of the week. Notebook LM works as an epic new curation tool for your content. So it's gone through, found some ideas for my topical hook about the main story. It's actually gone through and found me the tools, tactics, hacks that I've been looking at and reading about this week that maybe I'd forgotten about because it just slipped to the bottom of the content pile, pile, um, which is actually cool. It's kind of broken it down for me. Medro.com, a secret weapon for viral content research. I saw this earlier in the week, completely forgot about it when I was re- writing my newsletter today. It's actually gone and found a practical prompt of the week for me. So this is cool if I can give it loads of content and be like, what give me some cool hooks here that I could use for prompt of the week would save me a lot of time from searching through or looking through my chats to see what I've been using a lot, you know, because I've got a terrible memory basically. So this is probably one that I'm going to use the most out of all of them we've gone through, gone through so far. Now, finally, what if you knew what your customers actually thought about either your business or your competitor's business? We can actually create a customer service feedback agent, essentially. Go and grab either if you want to do competitor analysis, go and grab, go on Google, go to Google, go on TripAdvisor, go and find your competitors, go and grab all their reviews on Google reviews here or wherever you want, or go and get your own customer reviews and feedbacks and actually then put them into Notebook LM and then start asking Notebook LM to look for patterns in this. In this, Again, we can use it as a great analysis tool to say, can you find patterns and trends that I need to address in my customer reviews? And again, it's going to go off and analyze, compare, look for things that are coming up frequently that actually we've got positive patterns and strengths, which are nice. Emergency and responsiveness, you can see where you're actually strong, like where you don't need to worry about your business. And then you've got where you do need to worry about scheduling and appointments, lack of proactive updates, insufficient explanation. And actually, if you've got problems in here that you've seen and you've built another agent, which is, you know, Michael Gerber's E-Myth Revisited, you could take some of these problems you have you have, and see if there's any way in that book that you could actually start implementing some of that business advice to solve these problems. You know, actually being able to get a lot of sources in there and analyze and create stuff in a certain way is something that I don't see a lot of people doing. They're using more of these the features on the side without actually tapping into the real power of this 